so we have uh, created a job on the Lockheed. Um, right now I'm back here in the tail. Um, it's kind of, it's probably gonna be hard to tell on the video, but you can kind of see that spot where the paint's gone, the primer's gone. Um, and then if you look, the former there, uh, about right there is cracked. And then it's also cracked up, up here underneath that bracket. It's a little hard to hard to see it in there, but it, it's cracked right in there. Um, we were trying to do the weight and balance on the thing, and the 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 jack, well, the the airplane ran off the the scales, and when it did, the jack ended up coming up. The leg of the jack ended up coming up and hitting the bottom of the metal here and bent it so we are now we've already drilled out one of the panels um and we gotta i'm gonna end up drilling out this piece um it goes all the way back to that back bulkhead there um the former um so all of this is going to have to come out and so we're going to be making new pieces for the bottom of the airplane and then we'll have to repaint it on the outside and I'm gonna have my son is gonna come down here and help. Um, it, it, it's kind of hard to tell, but back in the very back, you can see where the primer is is breaking away from the metal back there, that bulkhead in the very back. I'm gonna have Jacob back there scraping all that off and taking a wire brush to it so we can put some new etching primer on it. Uh, to hopefully cut down on any chance of getting any corrosion going on back there. So we've got quite a bit of work that we're going to be doing here. So the Lockheed's going to be down for the next couple of weeks. Um, but when we're done, it'll be better in the end. This is the prop alcohol for the propellers. Um, and it's empty and I probably am not going to fly around with the thing full and so it kind of makes it pointless to carry it around at all um, because I don't plan on getting on any, in any ice and I don't have the ice anywhere else. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and take this out. I've got to take it out to fix the former over here on the, on the back, um, but I'm, I may not put it back in. I, I will keep it obviously, cause it's a nice, nice tank that they made up, but I'm not thinking that uh, I'll be putting this back in once I get it out. A little bit better now that I got the tank out. We've got that former right there that is, it isn't cracked, it's just bent. And then you've got another piece of it right there that's bent. So this, we're gonna have to make a new piece to go through there. And then this entire, we've already taken the, the corner piece off and then this whole piece it goes from from that uh former all the way back to the back back there that whole bottom piece has got to come off on the one side so it's, it's just it's just this piece right here that has to come off the one on the other side doesn't have to come off but we gotta i gotta drill all those out now and get that piece off so we can make a new one and and then put it all back together so it's not gonna be a huge deal, but it is gonna be a pain drilling all them holes back out. All right, so I've, we've gotten this piece here out. Um, I'm, I've drilled out a, a lot of the rivets that are under here. Um, the problem is, is we're actually, if we get under here and look, the seam on this thing goes from right here and I've already got all the, the rivets out down the middle, but I haven't broken them loose off of the, the two sides yet because I'm, I'm trying to get a little bit more opinions before I do this. But the, the problem is, is if you look at the airplane, there's that seam here. And then the other seam is all the way back to where you see the opening right there. And I'm a little bit concerned taking the bottom piece of metal off with, with the airplane sagging a little bit, you know, when you break that, the metal off the bottom, because there's, you know, the, the metal on the outside of these airplanes are what actually gives them their strength. So 
if you take all the metal off, you don't have any strength. So the problem that I have though, is I don't know where I can even brace it if I wanted to, because I, what I was thinking about is, is maybe putting a brace up here on this other uh, seam, I mean, on the other uh, former, but at that point we're so far forward on the bottom of the fuselage that I'm not sure if that would help or not or hurt. So I am waiting on some experts to get here to give me some ideas on this and then I'll finish drilling out the the rivets on the bottom of the airplane. It's, it's just kind of scary because if that thing bows any at all then everything just got much more complicated. So this is our jig that we made to hold the airplane. So we're gonna put some quilts on it in a second, but that's what we, hopefully that'll hold up the airplane so we get a little bit of support. So we got our former here uh, holding up our the airplane so that we don't have any uh, stress on this bottom panel. Um, I've gotten all the, the rivets drilled out of this this panel. So tomorrow I will uh, get under there and and get it out from the get it off the airplane. I just don't have any more strength in my hands for today, so I'm gonna knock off and get back at it tomorrow and try to get that that piece of skin off so we can make a new one.